morning everyone. It's been a busy day already. It's like, I don't know, like nine or something. And uh, with today is Sunday. So we have uh, tea time today. And I was just getting all of the uh, recap video cut in After Effects. So that's like our little thing we show uh, during the live stream, which is fun. So now I'm back in the live stream area and I'm gonna put all of it together because we are changing out all the graphics and uh, imagery like you saw yesterday. It's gonna be winter now because it's time to celebrate winter, even though it's not winter here. I said that yesterday too. <laughs> so let's get this started and uh, yeah, and then we have to get back to animating. <laughs> I have to do today and then we have live stream which is our favorite day. I love it so much. Okay so let's do this and then yeah then we'll, we'll go to the next thing. <laughs> Seriously? Can you see? Can you see? I, I don't, I don't know how to approach this, but um, for those of you who don't know, Alex Trebek had the exact same cancer that I've been battling since February. <clears throat> he passed uh, either last night or this morning after giving up on chemo and saying he can't do it anymore. <sighs> Selfishly, Stephanie and I have been using Alex Trebek as kind of a motivational tool. We kept saying, if, if he can do it, we can do it. I don't have unlimited resources like Alex does. I do believe I have some of the best doctors in the world helping me. Uh, but this came as a, a pretty bad hit because, uh, like I said, selfishly, I, I was using him as, a, as kind of like a, a, a teammate. If, if he can push through, then so can I. He's twice my age. If he can do it, I can do it. It's not how it worked out. And Stephanie has been beside herself since she found out the news. And I can't say that I've been any better. Uh, hold up, boo. Hey, buddy. It's just been really hard. Yeah. It's, uh... I think he was diagnosed in July of last year. So he made it a year and... And however many months that is, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> um, it's like 16 months or something. Yeah. I want longer than that. I don't want that short of time. I, I'm not giving up. My vitals are excellent it's to the point where the doctors scratch their heads. They, they're, they're just like, they can't. I had a nurse run in printing out my vitals going, check this out. They don't do that very often. Uh, yeah. Uh. I don't have anything to say. I don't know what to say. I'm pretty much numb right now. And I've got to find the, the strength to keep pushing forward because I'm not going to die. I'm just, I, won't, I won't allow it. And I'm sure as hell not dying at my desk. That's not going to happen. I want to thank you all for all the amazing messages you've been sending. This has been a particularly rough chemo, especially finding out that Alex didn't make it. He quit. I don't blame him. It's, there's no quality of life here. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not quitting. I do not blame the man one bit. For those of you who've gone through chemo, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you who haven't, chemo is the living hell. Chemo is hell on earth. It's like the worst flu you could possibly imagine. Tons of vomiting, tons of crying, tons of just pain. Pain from places you didn't know existed. A real deep-rooted pain. You're killing yourself. Chemo is a race to the bottom. The idea is to kill the cancer before you kill yourself. And I'm sure some people won't appreciate that, but that's the, that's the truth of what chemo is. You're slowly sipping poison, hoping that whatever's killing you will die before you do. So I gotta fight a little bit harder. I gotta fight a little bit more. And I ask all of you, if you pray, Please lift up stuff in your prayers. If, if, just, if you believe in kind words or whatever, just please just have a little nice thought for Steph. She doesn't want to be left alone. I don't want to leave her alone. 
And I'm not gonna, I'm, I, I won't allow it. I will not succumb to this disease. No matter how much it, it hurts, no matter how much I swear I can't do this anymore, I will continue to fight and fight and fight. I'm just heartbroken that the, the one guy we were really, really putting probably an unfair amount of pressure on to, to pull through this was Alex. So, and I've had a lot of people write me today about losing their loved one to, to pancreatic cancer. I'm sorry that you have to go through that. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I'm terribly sorry. I got, I got nothing else to say. I'm gonna let Steph talk if she wants to. Otherwise, I'll just shut this thing off and uh, come back in a couple hours, maybe. Or I don't know. I, 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 I'm very numb, and I don't know what to say, do, or think right now. I think that's all. We're good. Yeah. I just want to snuggle. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs>